Hi, today I'm gonna explain you uh, the project on which I was working for more than one year and very extensively for last two months. So this project is called Six Degrees of Freedom Serial Robotic Arm. So, for this robotic arm, I used the uh, steppers motors uh, NEMA 23, NEMA 17, NEMA 11, and NEMA 8 steppers motors. Like this. So, at the base of our robotic arm, we have the NEMA 23 robot. So, this is axis 1. And it rotates like this, so that it's uh, up. On the second joint, it's also NEMA 23. This joint rotates like this. Afterwards, on the third joint, uh, NEMA 17. Afterwards, NEMA 11. NEMA 11. So this is axis 4, axis 5, and NEMA 8 for the last axis 6. This is quite small uh, robotic arm, so it has this link is approximately 110 millimeters, and this also is approximately 115 millimeter. Uh, so it's really small, and the idea was is to keep heavy and powerful motors close to the base and light and less powerful motor on the wrist of the robot. So. And by the way, I have a new t-shirt, Scientific. So here I have the parts from the last year prototype, first prototype. And uh, as you can see, this uh, prototype was made from uh, laser cut aluminum parts and from 3D printed parts. And it has a lot of screws, a lot of metallic parts. And like this, it's kind of heavy. So in the current prototype, I used carbon fiber plates instead of aluminum plates. And also for the axis 4, 5 and 6, so for this part, I use uh, only 3D printed parts. Like this, it's less heavy, better, lighter. And this is the beast. This is my current prototype. So it's super heavy, but most of the weight is uh, close to the base. So it doesn't decrease the performance of the robot. So this is just the support. And this is the robot itself. So you can see how it moves. So here you have, we have the NEMA 8 motor. Here is NEMA 11. Here is NEMA 11 again, NEMA 17 for the axis 3, NEMA 23 for the axis 2, and NEMA 23 for the axis 1. And also, it has retractable legs. Uh, this bug is full of uh, 3D printed parts, uh, which uh, has some design issues. This is just to show you how many attempts it took me before I managed to assemble this uh, final uh, version. And also in this design, I used uh, timing belts plus bearings everywhere in order to have zero backlash. So to show you axis, so this is axis one, which is driven by this motor. This is axis two, which is driven by the motors uh, by the motor here, this one. This is axis three, 
and the motor which drives it is here. This is axis 4 and the motor which it drives it is on the back. This motor this motor over here drives axis 5 and uh, here there is motor for the axis 6 which is this one. Uh, this is control box so this cable goes uh, to the robotic arm and inside this control box there is Arduino Mega which can be controlled through this USB port and there is six stepper drivers. So three stepper drivers is TMC2130 for the axis 4, 5 and 6 and the three stepper drivers TMCM1110 for the axis 1, 2 and 3. There is uh, two buttons on off and uh, by the way this cable is custom made because i put inside the sick wires because in standard signal cable like this uh, wires are too thin and it heat up uh, like crazy like in a couple of minutes i wrote the simple program for the test uh, let's see how it works See you next time.